Hey everyone, Phil White here, the Earth Environment and Geospatial Librarian at CU Boulder. Just wanted to share a really quick video about Landsat Look. Landsat Look is a tool for uh, looking over Landsat data uh, over time, which is pretty useful, I think, for just doing like a, a quick snapshot. Um, maybe maybe you don't want to download data and get the huge TIFF files and get them into a GIS software. Maybe you just want to take a look at some some older stuff. And I wanted to share this example with you on YouTube. So I'm going to zoom in on an area of interest here um, that I was talking with a student about earlier today. And there is actually like a uh, solar farm, uh, solar plant energy station, like in this area over here. And we wanted to look at it over time. And there it is in the center of the map. Um, I want to show how you could like do a time lapse and, and view this uh, over a period of a decade or more. Uh, first of all, I want to point out at the top there's a few different things, and the default here is set to Landsat 8. Uh, we'll just point out that Landsat 8 goes back to 2013. But if you need older things, uh, 99 um, is available uh, with Landsat 7, and then older stuff with Landsat 5. You run into some issues with Landsat 7 and uh, uh, some artifacts and imagery, so I recommend eight if you can if you can get get by with it. Uh, also, so you can set a date range, and uh, it gives you this sort of calendar doohickey uh, to, to set a set a range. Uh, but actually, I find that the if you click input, it's much easier just to just to do it like this. And noting that it goes back to 2013, uh, what I'll do is maybe maybe I'll just leave it for uh, August 30th. Uh, and it changes to 2013. Uh, and then I'll just leave it to the most recent image. Um, so that way we have a an eight-year time span here. And you click Apply. Uh, I will point out that um, it automatically filters to images that have 0 to 50% cloud cover. So uh, images with less clouds. Uh, so next, you have this sort of time thingy over here, and if you scroll over here, it, it shows you, you know, what's going on. Um, I think this is a little confusing because you want to click on it and think something's going to happen. Nothing tends to happen, uh, but you want to click on this button right here. This is click to request time lapse data, and this will spin for just a a few seconds as it's loading up. It might take a little longer if you're doing a longer amount of uh, a longer time window, uh, but that there now it's done. And so, uh, if we want to kind of take a look into this and see, like, what, what about what time? Uh, when was this, you know, solar energy um, plant built? Well, we can load this, and and I had to reload it because I adjusted my my frame here. Uh, and now that's done. We can hit play, and it will start back when it did not exist in 2013. And you can see over here on the right that it's cycling through these different months. And you can sort of track this. And you can see now it's starting to, to come online. Um, the cloudy image. But you can see they're starting to clear areas here where this was put in. Um, and so now we're into 2015. It's getting bigger. OK, now it's starting to look like something. Uh, you can see where they've installed some some of the equipment. We're into 2016 now. Okay, 2017. One more. And on down the line it goes. Um, now you can stop this and just click. Once you've once you've loaded the imagery, you can just like sort of click around here too. So you could jump, and now it's no longer playing. But I can jump like to the end uh, if I wanted, and I can see things like uh, in in August or July, um, the progress that has been made. Now uh, that's pretty cool for a quick snapshot. Um, if you want to, you know, play around with it, um, I find that to be pretty useful. Uh, I will also point out. Um, it is a little annoying that you have to reload it every time you adjust the uh, the uh, frame, but 
If there's an image you're particularly interested in and you want to download it, you can go over to the export button and uh, find out. If you go, well, there's export and there's metadata. If you go to the metadata tab, uh, counterintuitively, it will tell you which um, image we're working on here. Um, and you can go and look at the metadata. You can download different bands and all of that. These are all the different images that are within our, our frame here. Okay, and that's it. If you want to go download it, you can go and, and get it. Uh, there's different options there here, and I will point out all of this is also available in the USGS, USGS Earth Explorer. So you could go there. You could use this as a discovery tool and then go like download it in Earth Explorer as well if you want to download all the bands in one go instead of like grabbing individual bands. Okay, well, that's all for this video. I just want to share this quick video because um, I think it's kind of cool and uh, useful for just a quickie time lapse over time. And um, that's all for now. So as usual, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at philip.white at colorado.edu. See you later.